So the problem with upper rib cage versus lower rib cage is if we're not getting a good diaphragmatic breath, and especially the crawl fibers aren't working as efficiently, then we obviously tend to use our accessory muscles more. Now that's pretty well known. The big accessory muscles that we're going to be interested in that stopping our ribs from internally rotating is serous scalenes. So serous scalenes are going to insert into the first couple of ribs below her clavicle here, okay? So if she's breathing a lot through her scalenes since she trains a lot, these muscles are going to be pulling her top couple of ribs into external rotation and obviously we want her ribs to be able to internally rotate well and externally rotate, not just externally rotate, okay? So I'm going to take her or um, pillow away if that's all right, Sarah, just for this part of the test. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop my hand here, Sarah, okay? And then I just want you to breathe in again, okay? And then I want you to exhale. And then I'm just gonna push her rib, okay? So at the moment, I've got my hand just under her clavicle and I'm guiding it down, okay? If this was a male, I usually tend to put my hand flat. I'm not going to do that with a female um, unless I felt I really needed to and I'd probably use a towel at that stage. But for the majority of patients, sorry to put my hand over your hair, Sarah, is I'm on her rib here. So if you breathe in again and then you're going to breathe out and I'm just seeing does her rib guide down and in. And is that a little bit tender there, Sarah? And that feels very stiff to me. So that couple of ribs here, that's where her scaling is going to attach. Now, if I palpate that, Sorry, it should feel very, very sensitive, okay? So that tells me that there's sensitivity here, that that scaling is probably something that I'm going to treat for Sarah for her back pain, okay? Because if we can get all these tissues to relax, then we can drive the rest of the rib cage, okay? So again, I'm going to just check on this side. Okay, from sensitivity levels, and it doesn't feel as bad. Okay, so if you take a breath in again, Sarah, and then exhale, Sorry. That's fine. Okay, and it's just a little bit stiff on end range, but not as much, okay? Now, to show us or to prove our working hypothesis, Sarah, if it's okay with you, I'm just going to check this again. So I'm going to hold that there. Again, I'm just going to try to do it without this popping up. Okay, and if you take a breath in, and then exhale. Okay, I'm just going to depress her rib cage, and then I should be able to change that very quickly. And again, Sarah, am I doing pretty much the similar pressure there? Yeah. Okay, so again, I'm not trying to play any games here. So when I get that ribs to the press, I create more room in the shoulder joint, okay? So the big tissues for me here at the moment are the scalenes that insert down into the, the first couple of ribs. They're the ones I'm gonna be interested in desensitizing to allow Sarah that when she exhales, to allow these ribs to fully